fucking serious? The one serious? from Sneaker Steel? Yeah. Yeah, they're Because those are awesome. I just tried to buy, take a shit and buy them. <laughs> they're pussy. so sick. Penis pussy. Is that your porky pig? Penis pussy. Penis pussy. Florida finalizing deal. I'm gay, folks. I'm gay, folks. Uh, Woody, Woody the Woodpecker. Florida finalizing deal. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Folks, if you if you took my advice and you invested in Ripple. Oh, is this? Are we on? Yeah, of course. Oh, nice. Classic Ripple is back up. Now. Is it? Yep. Didn't it didn't didn't uh and, um, and the growth has been pretty steady over the last couple of weeks. So I thought this you isn't said like this isn't like a uh you know one of these like volatile jumps that it's had in the past. This is uh it's taken off, guys. It's gonna really? Hit, it's gonna hit forty cents again, and anybody that got in around twelve is gonna be fucking sitting pretty. A millionaire? Yeah, thanks to my advice. D- isn't Bitcoin up too? Also, uh. You know what? Actually, yes, because the the Bitcoin to Ripple price has gone down, whereas uh, Ripple to USD has gone up. Now, people only use that to buy heroin and have sex with children, Child right? Sex, that's yeah. right. That's why it's that's why it's the best currency. And assassins. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Is that what Hollywood was using, or did they just get it for the no, for the they low? Use regular money. I thought you if said you have Ethereum. Enough. Didn't you recommend Ethereum? Nope. Nope. No. Okay, never mind. Elders bought money. Elders bought cryptocurrency. I know exactly what I recommended. (laughs) The new Pokemon. Yeah, hell yeah. No, the new Pokemon is Uber drivers' names in New York. (laughs) That's my version. You gotta collect them all. You gotta collect every stupid name you can. Babu car. What did you have that one time? I've had multiple Abubu cars. (laughs) (laughs) Numerous people named Abubu. You gotta catch them all. (laughs) They love having. What country is that? Yeah. You know? Abubu car is like Senegal. No, it's like it's like uh, Muslim Africa. Really? That's what. That's oh, what that's I the think. best names you get. That's African plus Muslim. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a fun combo. Co- for fun Coconut names. Coconut Ali. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut Ali. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a good boxer's name, dude. Coconut yeah. Ali. That's, that's one of the fight. That's one of the guys from Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Mm-hmm. Coconut Ali. Yeah. He and throws. Then, all, Nigeria has the best names. Yeah. You We've know. talked, yeah. Good luck, good luck, Jonathan. Yeah, sure. Bad luck, Jonathan. That's his Wario. His bad it's luck bad luck, <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, I'm hard dick, Jonathan. Oh, what do you think of that? It's um, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Boys, come on, fucking so Thanksgiving. Good to see, so good to see. We've you We've been guys. away from each other After for quite week, some time. It feels like forever. Yeah, yeah, because we spent it with our families, our gay ass families. Yeah, I spent, I, it, I spent the week doing spots. You're a spot boy. I love spot it. Spot city, baby. And taking naps from your manic episode of child child sex. Yeah, I'm back to not giving a shit. <laughs> We're glad <laughs> to have you back, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on my, my journey into the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild, man. You really loved that shit. It was great for the show. Not necessarily for Nick. Maybe no. It wasn't though. I mean, I got multiple messages from people that were like, "Okay, yeah, it was fine." No, for an fuck epi- them, dude. That an was episode funny. or two. No, but can you not- you, no, people loved it. I loved it. Fuck people. People can suck my I heart. I loved it too. H- yeah. Suck my hard penis, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. You know who didn't love it is that Skip. pedophile that was a fan of the show. Oh yeah, <laughs> he didn't like it. For us to go into his culture like that, <laughs> go hard on his culture. Guess what? Next week is trans people and then video editors. Oh shit! Uh, no, we're done. We're, shit! We're yeah, those people the, are canceled. The secret video editors in Hollywood. Uh oh. The underground <laughs> ring. Of, all these people are editing videos. I bet you thought they just turned the cameras on and did the movies exactly one take all no. the time. Yeah. Nope. It's a people fucking, are cutting it together. It's a mm-hmm. lie. Mm-hmm. It's, it's fucked a, up. A big lie. Folks. I thought it was a play. Just with a camera. Mm-hmm. We should talk about this for a second. I don't know any of the details. Someone just mentioned it to me, and it's. I think it's fucked up. Let's hear it. Uh, Maddox okay. from the best the page way, in the, the universe, the, yep. who I haven't paid attention to since probably 2000. Yeah, since I was 12, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I, I, I was a fan of Maddox longer than that. He was still funny by the time I was like 16, 17. Okay. But he would publish one article every like seven months. Gotcha. Because he was, I, at the time, I think he was like putting everything into this book that he was writing. Oh, uh, fuck. The, al- flop? the Alphabet of Manliness. I don't think it flopped, but it just wasn't good. Right, right, right. I mean, especially not compared to his other shit. He also had like sort of like a media, it was like a web ring that he was like in charge of or something that included like guys that weren't as funny, like 
Tucker um, Max. Tucker Max. Really? He was in the mix with Tucker yeah, Max. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. that's a tough cosign. Well, anyhow, uh, I, I, thought I guess the in way. the in the last decade, in, you know, in his search for relevancy, which, uh, like, to be fair, Maddox was a huge influence in terms of like my, how I approached like writing comedy online. I think he, I think definitely influenced a lot of motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. He was the only guy doing that shit. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. the longest time. Yeah, and I mean, it was very funny. Looking yeah. back, it is still very funny. The fucking that that you know your child sucks at drawing. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Ding, ding, ding! Here comes the shit mobile. I mean, like it <laughs> was all very funny stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess he had a podcast with this guy Dick Masterson. Great name. And then uh, they had some kind of falling out, and Dick split off into his own show mm -hmm. with uh, Asterios Coquinos. I don't know if you know him. I mean, you probably know him from The Village. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. We, our dad used to suck off goats together. Yeah. From the olive groves. Nice. Wait, that's a real guy? Asterios Coquinos? Yeah. He's, he's, that's a Greek ass name. That's the Greek. I thought I had the Greekest fucking nah. name in comedy. And you know what? He's like half Asian, too. So what? He looks like an Eskimo. God damn it. Yeah, that's a, a good look. He's I'm jealous. He gets to get a Greek name and be ethnic. Right. You just look like an igloo. Yeah. <laughs> and you have a Greek A whale name. blubber. Yeah. I look like a sexy ass Eskimo. Uh, uh, all right. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't agree with that. I'm trying to get my cock rubbed under an igloo, dude. Yeah. How warm is an igloo? Not warm at all. I thought they had like, they did some kind of engineering they put a fire or magic or nah, something. They shit. don't know what the fuck they're doing. I really? thought that you could make it hot. Nah, they're the it's dumbest. It's nicer than outside. They're the dumbest race. <laughs> Eskimos? Yeah. Well, they have they don't have any other words because they use all their words on snow. Yeah. yeah. And they, they run you trains. See, you should see how many words they have for black people. <laughs> Just <laughs> one. You think, you think the snow one is <laughs> Just one, one, and guess what letter yeah, it starts yeah, yeah, with? Yeah. <laughs> it's S-N-I. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new name for us. Oh wow. no! <laughs> wow! Oh fuck! Wow. Damn, dude. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. definitely racists have gotten to that before us. There's oh, no way. Of course. Yeah. Um. Uh. Fuck. Oh, we we're talking about yeah. Yes, so, Dick yeah, Masterson and they, the Greek yeah, guy. They started their own podcast. And what then, is it? Kokinos? Kokinos? Kokinos, Yeah. Okay. I mean, that means red. Is there multiple? K O K K O K I N O. Kokinos. Yeah. Asterios. I think that means red star red. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. So no, like a so. like an inflamed asshole. Yes. Like that's a, what. It, yes. That's a what his name up means. But butthole. A nice ripe. Ready, yes. Yes. Ready, a baboon's ass has gotten <laughs> fucked. Ready to be violated. <laughs> yeah. asshole. Just a drippy. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't fuck me. Don't fuck my red star. <laughs> <laughs> that's his act, basically. No, uh, Asterios is funny. Cool. I, I only shouts I out to another is Greek he a homie. Stand up or he's yeah, just he's a, a stand up. But he's an LA guy. I crossed paths with him maybe like once or twice. Okay, ever. but he was. I always thought he was funny. Let's link up, Asterios Greek boys. Yeah, and his Twitter was always funny. And he did this thing a couple of years ago that that got my attention. Was uh, they have these like bullshit seminars in LA where mm -hmm. you like, it's like pay eighty dollars and you get to meet industry insiders Ugh. to like pitch your fucking script to right you know uh mm -hmm. and it's like you know it's f nobody's right you know it's just somebody that works at fucking you know like brillstein in the mail room has right. to like go to this meet and greet or right whatever. right right and then he wore like a hidden mic or something and like just pitched the shittiest ideas he could think of to people and it was very funny i can't yeah, yeah. remember like one of them he was like it's called president baby and the baby's That's, a president i like that so far yeah yeah i mean it's, it's fun he's I'm fu trying to get cast in president baby yeah yeah that's who the fuck else is going to play the baby star dude? vehicle for you come on uh how about uh the current president mr, uh -oh. mr. cheeto oh. cheeto face and take that yeah. trump yeah, uh, Trump's. I'm, I'm sorry, 45. Every time. Don't yeah. say that. Don't honor him by saying his oh, name, yeah. okay? I say TR star MP. Mm. Yeah. Take out the vowels. Because yeah. that way he can't name search. Yeah, yeah that, that way he'll never find that way my he, insult. That way we, we're, we're going to turn his name into the N word. Oh. That, that's like one step away from that. Like, yes. let's just call him. That's going <laughs> to yeah. be some woke That's going to be the woke it's like, take. Guys, we're going to call him. <laughs> <laughs> we take back the yeah. power of the N word. Ryan. <laughs> well, no, Voldemort. Ryan, stop. <laughs> They call him Voldemort, and that was sort of like the N-word of Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, anyhow. Yes. So, Asterios and Dick Masterson have their own show or whatever that split off from Maddox's show, and then they got on Patreon, and now they're like, 
you know, they're up where we are. You know, they're Ooh. making like the mid mid twenties. Salute, something. brothers, yeah, Patreon yeah, yeah. warriors. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they're in the mid twenties, and then I guess Maddox started his own podcast with the Patreon, and like Maddox just like alienated all of his fans by being like a dick to his co-host uh-huh. and like, being kind of a spiteful piece of shit, I guess. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it so nobody, nice yeah, nobody us. nobody listens to his shows anymore. Damn. Uh, well, here's the thing. I don't need to be nice to you, Adam. But if you had like, I like, I'm not gonna fucking try and fuck up the, you know, your stupid podcast you guys do together. Which one, the basketball? Yeah, I would well, never. Yeah. I would never. Like, I mean, he was Why doing a good podcast. Well, I wouldn't. I mean, I would yeah, never yeah. do that. And then, like, but apparently, like, you know, Maddox was like trying to get them fired from their day job. Oh, what? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys he was. Do collaborating with no, and this was after they stopped after the breakup. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah he was yo. Like, what the fuck? That's yeah. a bitch ass move. Yeah, exactly. Well, now he's suing them, and then named in the lawsuit are, is Patreon as a co defendant. What? Yeah, and then the customer service because yo, tried, if Maddox fucks our money up, I'm gonna fuck him up. He tried. He tried to. Oh yeah, that's. First of all, I would not go to court. I would go to his house and baseball bat right, style. Exactly. That's, yes. that's, I, mean, I don't. I don't have. That's time. a legal threat of violence. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have time to deal with a lawsuit. Fuck no, dude. Yeah. No, I don't. I got even, a cake. Yeah, exactly. I got a cake up. I got to stack my racks. Yeah, yeah. I got to buy my mother dishwashers. Which shouts out to everyone who came out <laughs> the sidebar. I bought my mother a beautiful whirlpool. Thank you beautiful, so much. Beautiful, well, beautiful. Yeah, stainless guess, steel, my bitch. Ooh, yeah. That's the chef's so, choice. He, he's also suing the customer service agent at Patreon that he dealt with. When he tried to get their show kicked off Patreon and, and fuck with their money, and he's suing for four hundred million dollars. So he's a little dick ass motherfucker. Yeah, I guess. Oh so. damn. No, but he's like, I looked at the the like just the lawsuit and the things he's like negligence and fucking defamation. Per Jesus se. Christ. I don't know. Ad, you know the difference between defamation and defamation per se, right? No, I don't. Oh. Wow, someone's a bad fucking. It's the def- I'm a bad yeah. lawyer. I think defamation per se is where you don't have to even prove damages. It's like the thing they said was so damaging to begin with. Oh, that, you know, that would it's make like, sense. Yeah, like if you call is somebody sue us. If you call somebody a pedophile, I think that's defamation per se. That is a mm-hmm. pedophile. Yeah. Well, I'm suing you for four hundred million dollars. <laughs> no, no, because you have to prove that we lied, and we have yeah, hard. Yeah, we have so much evidence. We have, What's we the have evidence? An, that one an hour win. of recording where Remember? you say that. That you have the most, the people you, em- yeah, you he has you, the most you, empathy for. You relate to I never most said that. The people <laughs> I that literally you, never said that. That, that you, you feel the most sorry for our no, pedophiles. I don't. I Not never the said people that. they fuck. If you had to Not describe the a type nope. of person that you were, you would say it's a pedophile. False. And that one time you were talking about where it was like me at fourteen, and you were talking about how. It defeats the purpose because they're all sexy ass pictures. We literally stopped recording and Nick was like, you're absolutely right. I, I had to make fun of you about that on the podcast. No, first of all, right. first of all, you were no, not absolutely yes, right. Yes, it was. Specifically, and I stand by that statement. No, no. hold on. No. You're Speci- making a fucking pedophile, like literal <laughs> bat signal <laughs> hashtag. They're like, okay, we're going to put all these pictures of 14 year old girls no. up on this hashtag. I didn't find And they're like, no, yeah, pedophiles, a, do no. not jack off to these pictures because we're this is an anti pedophile hashtag. Did some women. Where we're putting up pictures of ourselves at 14 some years women. old. Do like post hot pictures? Okay, maybe. Yes, but Some for the women most also part, did post pictures of themselves. At- for the most part, it's like showing that they're children, and you wanted to fuck them. Yeah. yeah okay, anyway, yeah, so anyway, so we have proof. Evidence. We have Adam, great hard evidence. Adam Jack- we have proof. at the Supreme Court. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking this all the way to the top. Adam Jack's off to the Oshkosh catalog. <laughs> That's true. I like Seer he, Sucker he likes to see himself. He's also he a likes, baby. He Remember that, to, guys? He likes to. Josh, Before he was a bug, Josh Koff. <laughs> Yes, buggy, buggy Josh cousins. Kosh, fuck uh, Josh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. You got to you got to squeeze that one. Josh Kosh, suck off. That's a, that 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 one is like it's like a nice big fat orange, and the 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 consumers need to squeeze the sweet juice oh, out yes. of it. Yes, so. Josh Kosh, fu- suck off. My fucking yeah. jack off my. Cock. My fucking dad told my girlfriend I had diarrhea all over a gymboree when I was a kid. Nice, did like you? as a fun story. Did you? I don't know. I, I don't guess remember. You did. Yeah. Anyway, how does this end? How does this? Uh, Maddox yeah. So they're thing suing. Ends? Oh pe- yeah. No, this just happened. Like they just oh, got damn. they got served. I guess Asterios is looking for some financial help because he's not on. It's not. He's not on the Patreon. I think it's just. I don't really pay. I don't know what he's on a show that makes a ton of money. They don't I don't know if he's ass? on the show. He's just part of this like Maddox universe. Universe. Gotcha. Yeah. But I, that was just so disappointing to find that out about Maddox. He's a bitch. Yeah. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, because like you said, he was. You know, an influence on a lot Isn't of. Isn't Tucker Max an SJW now? Yeah, is he? Sure, I think he is. The guy all these like, guys. Every the, whoever was the worst ten years not? ago 
is now like the most woke. Yeah, I thought he said like, oh, I was totally wrong. I was nasty. Yeah, I know so many guys that were like, well, you know, now. 12 years ago I was in a hardcore band called Rape the Vagina. <laughs> now I'm a leading voice of male feminism on Facebook. Uh, um, oh, fuck. I had to take my hoodie off. I got toasty. Damn, you look like you got much fatter. Yeah, you yeah look like you this weekend was pounds. horrific. I mean, I, you really do look like you've gained like 20. <laughs> yeah, pounds. dude, I probably, no, I'm not kidding. I probably gained 10 Holy pounds this weekend. No, how like 20 pounds. You look. No, I'll, I'll slim down again. That's how, how do you do it in a I fluctuate week? Never, that much. You mean slim down? You were never slim. You know what I'm saying. I'll get back to where no, I was. No, I don't. I literally don't know what you're what saying. What I'm saying is, motherfucker, I probably weigh like 270 right now. I'll get around 250 again my pretty mo- soon. My mom said at Thanksgiving at the table, she said, Addy, I think Stavros, your friend, would look nice if not, he'd look a lot better if he lost a little bit of weight. What <laughs> the fuck, bitch? <laughs> fuck your mom. <laughs> Just taking shots of me. I'm not even there. She wasn't. She was trying to say, like, maybe he should. <laughs> like, I've never thought about it, Adam's mom. <laughs> like, the, you yeah, fucking a, South African bitch. <laughs> my, my mom My mom has referred to you as the fat one. <laughs> 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 well, fuck you guys. My mom, my mom's made you guys cookies, but maybe you they won't were get them very nice. Oh, oh Christmas that. is coming up. I'm expecting. Had, there was more. Let's, let's have more. let's have let's have Christmas at the Valhalkius household. You can come. You guys are invited. Oh, of by course. the way, we can't drop the ball on, or you can't drop the ball on that. You promised everyone. I'll do it if someone does all the work for me. I'll sign the. I'll do this. I'll I mean, sign I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of a paperwork head. I don't mind doing, doing Do the that paperwork, everywhere. and I'll, I'll change my name to Stavros Valhalkius in a fucking heartbeat. Yeah. It's so hilarious. I'll disrespect my... My middle name is my father's it's name It's going to be now. great when we do this shit, and then you're, like, furious at all the uh, all the fucking hiccups it causes in your life where your fucking bank account's locked. Cause <laughs> yeah. You're like, God fucking damn it, throwing temper tantrums. My name is Val Car Valkyrie. gets impounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, let me yeah. say something. If my car gets impounded yeah. because I changed my you name. You can't get on a flight because they're like... <laughs> Okay, but it's Stavros Velhalkius here, and yeah. your name is there's no Vel, so we can't let you on the plane. I think I don't think they're really that sticklers. Oh, about they middle are, names. dude. They really fucking middle are. names? No, not if your names. middle name wouldn't be Vel. Your last name would be changed to Velhalkius. No, no, no. My middle name is Vel. No, I think it was technically your last name. I'm not changing Vel my Halkius. fucking last name to Vel Halkius, but my middle name is Sta- will be Stavros. What Vel. has Stavros Senior ever done for you, dude? Huh? What was your father? You you gotta you gotta. I'm not changing my last name <laughs> to Vel. How I'm changing my middle name <laughs> to Vel. i that's what we said the whole time. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I how about I this? Sort of w- will the fans accept it if instead of I change, don't give a fuck? Let's that's what I'm of, doing. Instead of changing mm-hmm. your name, mm-hmm. you get the tattoo of Louis J. Gomez's face. I'm that not he posted. doing that either. You have to go to Connecticut to get <laughs> that I'm tattoo. What I'm doing is changing my middle <laughs> name to Vel from Emmanuel. As a sign of respect to the fans yeah. and a sign of disrespect I to my father. I hope somebody gets that Lewis tattoo and it comes up in like, you know, a divorce uh, <laughs> like court documents. <laughs> that that's cited as a reason somebody shouldn't be able to keep their kids. 100% it should be. Yeah. You sh- if you have a tattoo of Lewis's face, you shouldn't be allowed to raise a child. You're playing like real ass dude clips in the courtroom. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a word. Yeah. He doesn't I even, say, dude, I'm fucking Puerto Rican. He doesn't even make that argument. He just says it. He just says yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then if you say you can't say that, I'll go, I'll fight you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lewis School of Debate is awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Lewis like a fuck? We got to have Lewis on the podcast. Tim was saying they should give Charlie Rose's show to him. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah, with fucking that. Charlie Rose pulling his dick out and shit. Yeah. What was he doing? He was yeah. like, he was like getting like young, like college age interns to ha- come have dinner at his house. And they'd be like, yeah. I have to retire upstairs. I will be right back. I, I, I've, I've caught the vapors. I do believe I need that. <laughs> Open my robe. Yeah, he'd come <laughs> down in a robe and then he'd open it. Oh, and he'd be, he'd Jesus expose Christ. his dick and be like, Have you ever been on skin a dip? And Jeez yeah, Louise. Yeah. yeah. It's rough. Damn. Damn, Chuck. You know what? Chunk. And he's not a comic, so we don't have to defend him. That's right. Fuck him. Well, he also had Schumer on to like, and he was like, Oh, yeah, that's tell right. Me, to drag. Tell me when you found out Kurt Metzger was a, a rapist. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Schumer, fuck that Schumer guy, dragged dude. him on Charlie Rose. Yeah. Ugh, that sucks, dude. She was like, Kurt was my friend, but he raped and murdered <laughs> <laughs> every child in New York. <laughs> he killed them. Oh, fuck. Um, damn. Well, that sucks for Maddox. What did you boys do for Thanksgiving? <laughs> it sucks for Maddox. <laughs> or uh, Stereos or whatever uh, the fuck. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's just we stopped talking about that like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> 
<laughs> I went to I LA know, and then to Vegas. Oh, dude, I was walking on the street uh, with Jamel and uh, Brandon Wardell, and mm-hmm. some dude crashed his bike right in front of us, and we were like, "Oh shit, are you okay?" Uh huh. And then he looked up at us, and we're like, "Oh, it's Steve." Uh. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And then he got up, and his penis was like he was wearing like a tight like spandex bike thing, and his penis was hanging out. And we're like, "Oh, hilarious, Steve." <laughs> <laughs> and then there was a camera crew behind us, and they're like, "Yeah, we got it. We think we got the shot." Oh, really? So he was just and he's like, "Yeah, man, into people with dude, his dick out." <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like too sober, dude. He's like forty now. He's like just trying to do pranks, and we're like, "Oh, is this for like a show?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm trying to sell it. I'm shopping it around right oh, now. This no. is called Dick Bike Accident." <laughs> <laughs> we're like, "Oh shit, dude." That's Whatever, so man. Steve does do good work. Did you suck his dick? We didn't suck his. Did dick. you? Yeah, you did. Not we. Did I you didn't suck, suck his dick. dick? No, we went to undefeated after that. Uh, but yeah, no, it was Adam's it was undefeated in sucking dicks. Yep. What do you mean undefeated? Nine million and oh. <laughs> yeah, you sucked every. <laughs> come to every time. <laughs> every dick you've come into Wait, contact with, you sucked. What is it? Three? No, hold on. Women are what? Fifty. Fifty-one percent of the population. So it's like three and a half billion. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. All right. Well, I just did fast math. No, <laughs> it's not three and a half billion because that would just be fifty percent. Mm. Yeah, but it's a little bit less than seven billion, right? It would be a little bit less than three point five billion. So what's you're gonna say three point four seven billion. Okay. And O. Oh, is yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. You sucked every dick in the world. Even babies. Yes. Every baby that's oh. born you suck oh. them off. Especially. <laughs> yeah, that's where you start. <laughs> you reluctantly <laughs> suck off yeah. seven right. year olds and up. Yeah. Can we do the math on that? You go to a brunch for you is going and sucking off an entire buffet line of babies. <laughs> yeah, you call a nursery the NICU yeah. unit. You call that the buffet, dude. The NICU unit. What's that? It's uh, like intensive the, care. If you're the busy, really the super baby. Is it intensive care for black people? <laughs> no. No, it's the most baby babies <laughs> that, that what, exist. Is that what the NIC <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, First snow those and now. <laughs> hey, look, I didn't name it. I you're didn't right. name the place. You did. You're you right. want to you get mad about racism? Why don't you march down to the hospital and mm-hmm. tell them what you think that stands for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's like a super premature baby. So it's like the most baby you can get. Mm. That's what Adam loves to suck off oh, the most. The freshest. Yes. Yeah. He likes he likes a nice fucking green banana. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice yeah. Green baby banana. Yes, he does, my friend. Or like a li- nice little sour baby. Oh, baby. yes. Nice little plantain. It's got a little pop to Oh, it. yes. The middle is still like and really hard. thick. Yeah. Platano. Platano. I never fuck with plantains. I love plantains. I love them. I never Actually, did I don't. I, I did, and then Adam said it. No, so you no. don't like them don't anymore? Like them. Yeah. It's not cool to like them anymore? Yeah, no, it's not. Plantain chips are okay sometimes. That's a fun little mix. Yeah. Yeah. But I've never had a plantain in any other fashion. Although, I'm I guess... A mofongo. What's mofongo? It's like a, a hat made out of rice and plantain. A hat? Yeah. You that's can wear what, it? That's what the binding agent is in mofongo, right? Is plantain? Adam? Uh, I don't know. Is uh, that like a Cuban dish? It's like a Dominican Spanish dish. It's like a. F- it, li- it literally looks like somebody made fucking a bowl of rice and chicken and shit mashed together. Sounds a, pretty good. In a hat and then emptied it on a. On a I'm into that. Where can we get some mofongo? Anywhere, dude. You go to the fucking the diner that you refused to go to this morning. I'm sure they have it. I didn't refuse. I said let's try someplace else. I like that, and I like bistec and sabayebo. Bistec is steak, That's right? steak. Yeah. What's in Sabayebo? I think it's just steak and onions and black beans. Ooh. Mm. I'm gonna fuck with that. Fuck, dude. I don't want steak. I think I'm fucked. Yeah, so have you put on 73 Thanksgiving pounds. really fucked my ass big time. How? Do I, that's impressive that you gained so much weight in a Bro, week. it was a, quite a weekend. I guess once your body gets fat, it's like, fuck it, let's do this. No, I do 10-pound <laughs> swings like it's nothing. Really? Yeah. In but like the, a matter of What's days. funny is that, it, A, it was 20 pounds. I don't think it's... Well, you, whatever. You yourself said I'm 270. I don't know. I'm probably around somewhere around there. We'll see. But I mean, I wouldn't just say that to be mean... You well, know, you would, but I would. Yeah. Of course, no, you would. I would, but I mean, like I. I In this case, you happen not to be. I am. Yeah, uh, but I also wouldn't do that. You would, but yes, no, I, I see would. What you're saying, <laughs> but uh, you d- you legitimately look like you've gained twenty pounds. Mm. Yeah, no, I know I look bad, but my, you know, what are you gonna do, man? It's big boy season. I'm bulking up for the winter. Um, for hibernating, I'm hibernating. I would love to hibernate. That would be so. I just dope. I caved and I bought that 140 pound weight vest. Oh shit. You couldn't do it? 
No. What do you He's, mean I couldn't? I couldn't. He caved as in. I bought it. As a I wasn't, consumer. I wasn't oh, you caved it. in and bought it. Did you yeah. get it yet? No. It ships in three separate packages. Because it's too heavy. It's too so heavy. heavy. Yeah. That's how you they ship my dick. I want to kill the mailman. That's how they ship my dick in my balls. <laughs> yeah. My right ball, my your, left ball, my big ass dick. trans dick. Yeah. I would love to. That's what the wor- If that's they're the, giving trans people big dicks, future, why dude. can't I get a big that's dick? That's the future is going to be is fucking it, 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 in the future 20 years from now everyone's trans and only the richest trans people can have big dicks. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then it's going to become this thing where we we it's revolt. It's a privilege thing. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah. I would love to. That would that would motivate me to get to be rich. I get a big shiny dick, big new shiny dick. I feel like though, because the the I FT, have a gorgeous the FTMs, vagina. <laughs> the FTMs have lived their lives as women, you know, so they're they're like they're still more modest. So I don't think they're gonna get huge ass dicks. Yeah, but that's the but ones you have to worry about are the male to male trans. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The men, the men who decide yes. to become even more men, you know, exactly. As a member, that's of, what I would as be. a member of the community, I I can right. I, I want to. Yeah, I'm a small. Di- I'm a yeah. big dick guy trapped in a little dick guy's body. <laughs> right. yeah, I'm just I gonna feel get. That's way. how I feel. I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna get my one of my feet cut off. Right. I'm gonna get my right foot cut off and uh-huh. then have, have it sewn on to the side of my hip, mm. and then have a dickhead placed. on on where my foot was. Okay. So it's still a leg, but now it's a dick, and the, oh. my other leg is just a short. It's oh, just a foot smart! That sits Little ass, me. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. could lean sideways. You can kind of <laughs> yeah, lean yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I get yeah. it. I get That's it. good. So, so would you? So you would fuck women with your foot leg, basically. Well, your middle. Be my dick. I mean, your, your dick. Your big leg. ass dick. <laughs> Yeah. With a knee and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You got a calf muscle. <laughs> <laughs> you flex your cock. Yeah, that's pretty so good. About would it feel good to get your just your whole your like knee sucked? It would feel good to intimidate people at the gym. That's true. Like who's that guy squatting with his dick? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Lunges. How would that work? Yeah. How would that work though? Seriously, would You'd you have, have to a heel? get special shoes? Would you have a heel, or would you just have a dick coming out of your ankle? You just have a dick coming out of your ankle, dude. That's a lot of pressure when you're squatting. Yeah, well, that's what makes it bigger. Wouldn't you hurt your cock? No. You'd have sort of a prosthetic foot. Not me. On Maybe you would. Penis. <laughs> that's how hard your cock can get, that yeah. you could do squats on it and Look, it wouldn't hurt? this is how guys are coming back from Iraq. That's you know? true, man. Mm-hmm. I should show more respect mm-hmm. to our troops. I'm sorry. No arms, no legs, five dicks. <laughs> they get sent over to Berlin where they do crazy experimental surgery. To Ooh, they take all the dicks from the dead uh, brown people? Uh, they just collect them? Sure. Is that how you get a surplus dick? Yeah. Maybe that's why we did a rack. It wasn't oil. It, it was, was all the, the extra dicks. dicks. For hormones. We never mm-hmm. collected those. Oh, fuck. Dick Cheney's trans, dude. Yeah. Dick Cheney wanted all that His name used Arab to be estrogen. Vagina Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> Before he trained. Very nicely done. Well That'll done. put a nice bow on that riff. Professional. <laughs> Professional. I love the way that fucking Christian Bale is like. Christian Bale has turned himself into fucking absolute disgusting shit oh, yeah, to he's play Dick, Dick Cheney. Cheney. Yeah. And it's like, that doesn't seem necessary. Yeah. Right. Just, also, there's so many fat, ugly motherfuckers, man, for fuck's sake. Hey, stop. C- you let me do it, yo. So you, you, do the, do, you know you there's some. Scowl? Like, uh, yeah. You know there's so uh, many ugly okay, motherfuckers. Let, oh, just for everyone listening at home, the answer is no. No, I did it. I did it good. Uh, uh, that, 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 you, uh, you look like Papa. I'm doing the pink. He, he had a stroke. He, like, smiles from one side or something. Yeah, he's got he one can't side control. of his face that. You know, yeah, he's got a weird look to him. He's got um, yeah. What the? F- there's some ugly fat bald guy who's like, finally, I, they did the I same thing. Cheney. They did the same thing with like when the Whitey Bulger movie that was Johnny Depp. It's like we got to put Johnny Depp right. in a fucking bald cap. We yeah. can't let fucking some bald guy and I'm not sh- J.K. Simmons. That cocksucker been, it does everything. Should have been an Irishman. I don't know why they they can't they can't yeah put an actual some Irish fucked name. up alcoholic who's bald as shit and looks like shit. Mm-hmm. Let him do it. I'm really bummed that um. Philip Seymour Hoffman died, Representation matters Died before he could play <laughs> Steve Bannon In the Trump he movie He would've knocked he would've Steve Bannon that. Out of the fucking park He would've park. crushed that shit Holy yeah. shit He really would have oh, It's just It's a master race <laughs> <laughs> That's really good <laughs> Why isn't there A race for masters Oh the master race yeah. Huh You guys remember that uh, That movie Listen to me for a second <laughs> The one about Scientology Or whatever Did you see that I saw part of it But I was fucked up on edibles I don't remember <laughs> what happened I think he I, fucked. I, I like that movie. Isla Fisher. I liked it too. I, nah, I don't like it anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. I thought it was good. It I seemed it like they were sort of making it up as they went along, though. You know what I watched? I watched The Foreigner without you boys. 
The I heard the it Jackie sucked. Chan movie. I watched it in a discount theater. It's Shouts about out the band Foreigner, right? Shouts out to Beltway Chan Movie Six. Yes, every member of the band. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fuck. What? What's a foreigner song? Jonah said it sucked. I'd be a j- jukebox hero. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, it was just so plot heavy. It was like, first of all, the pot, the plots, the parts where it was Jackie Chan. How about, how about eat box hero? That's good. You know, it's a pussy mm-hmm. eating hero. <laughs> yep. That'd be I, a cool song. Eat box hero with pubes in, in his, his teeth. eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hell yeah. Great song. Um, it was good. I mean, Jackie Chan fucking rules, but they made it all about like the IRA, and it was like Pierce Brosnan is like Pierce Brosnan sick. Pierce Brosnan ruled, but it's like he was the minister, the Irish minister to England, and secretly the head of the IRA. Pierce Brosnan is like the only celebrity with a happy marriage. Is he? And his his yeah. wife's ugly. I his think. well, his wife was hot, and then she got mad fat as oh, soon as she damn. had one kid. But they're still like, you know, his they love each other. Yeah, beautiful. he's on a beach and he's like making out with her rolls. Hell yeah! Sick. Shouts he's, out to Pierce. Like, Salute, a, a true him. warrior. Tonguing her stomach. Yeah, fucking fat. James. Yeah. I want that Pierce Brosnan and his ugly wife yeah. type love. I'm trying to be Pierce Brosnan's ugly wife for Gold a hot Gold lady. Eye is my favorite Bond movie. It's great, dude. Yeah, I fucked with Pierce. Pierce rules, dude. Well, I mean, Gold Eye was the only good Pierce Brosnan movie. I'm yeah, like, the rest of them were I kind of enjoyed the other ones, but again, I was in high school. The and Halle was, Berry one no, was really bad. The one bad. that was just the bad guy is Nick Denton. You know? The news one? Yeah. yeah. The only good news is bad news. I don't T- remember Was it Tomorrow Never Dies? Tomorrow Never Dies. Tomorrow Never Dies. Dies. Yeah, and then the Tomorrow fucking the Denise off. Richards one was retarded. Yeah, where she played where Christmas. They had, to stop, yeah. uh, they had to stop Charlie Sheen from fucking yeah. a child. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Christmas came out of its pussy. <laughs> came pussy juice out of <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. all one line. It's all corny ass one liners. Yeah, Sean Connery had a wig the whole time. Not he was like bummed. our show. Our show is more erudite and sophisticated. So Suff- yeah, yeah. yeah, this is a more urbane show. Than Have you ever- ass bane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any her, more words? Her bane is my huge dick destroying her pussy. Mm-hmm. It's the bane, her bane of her existence. The ba- her bane of her existence. There you mm. go. How about this? How about a female version of Bane that has the mask thing over her pussy? Over her pussy. <laughs> yeah. And it sounds weird when she yeah. queefs. Yeah. She's like... Everyone in the stadium's like, what the <laughs> fuck is... What is this? <laughs> what is... Oh, what is shit. it? <laughs> Who is this woman and what is she doing? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you simply adopted the pussy trans man. I was born with it. I was oh, born. Oh, yeah. In- she doesn't believe trans people are real. Yeah. <laughs> I was born inside of the trans vagina. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Yes, trans bane or, puss- or queef bane. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. That's a good ass character. How was uh, your week? Stop. You ate a lot of food with your family. Yeah, dude. I had. I had. Here's the. Here's the meal I ate, uh, four straight times. I had it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh my god. Was um, leg of lamb, with zucchini fritters, lemon potatoes, zucchachnia, and uh, tzatziki, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and uh, Greek salad. You know, a little fucking tomata, a little fucking feta, um, <clears throat> and then uh, to chop it all off for dessert. Was a pie sampler, a sliver of sweet potato, pumpkin, and apple. This is gonna be great for the soundboard. Topped off, <laughs> <laughs> topped off, absolutely. Topped off with um, a, he- a heavy helping of vanilla ice cream, and I had that four times in a row. And that uh, boy, who I, I think that took man. four minutes for you to name all the foods just now. It was good as shit. We I don't guess, fuck with. I turkey. guess now the question of how did you gain twenty pounds has been answered. <laughs> yeah, I d- yeah, of course, <laughs> dude. I had I had a uh, salted caramel, like somebody made salted Ooh, caramel, fuck, in, and then yeah. it was just wedged in between like biscuit. You know? Mm. Oh, delicious. Uh, oh, I, and I think I, I got diabetes overnight. Yeah, because it's just sugar. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's all. Caramel Where at your is. aunt's uh, house? Look at this good ass fucking article: the unexamined brutality of the male libido. What is this? New York yeah. Times. Yeah. Did you see that Nazi thing they they wrote yesterday? I saw it, but I ignored it. I, w- I read it. It's what pretty it, funny. Was it good? Well, I don't. I'm well, not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to read cooking. this article. But what is the answer? We need to sterilize people. You can't want to fuck as castrate much. them. Yeah. What's what's the male libido? Fear I will of never male stop libido. Wanting to fuck. 
The Nazi Take one, that. The Nazi one was funny because like he'd be like, listen, I think Hitler was misunderstood, and I think he had a lot of good points. And they were like, he put red chili pepper flakes in his garlic olive oil as he waited for pasta to boil. They're just like talk. It's just like one of those like stupid profiles where they like talk about meaningless details to make it feel like f- like full and like yeah. fleshed He's out. He's a fucking Nazi, man. Yeah. What the fuck do we need to talk to these Who's cocksuckers just like, for? It wasn't like interesting. <laughs> it wasn't like. But it's also like, who gives a fuck what Nazis think? Yeah. They're dumbass fucking Nazis. They want to yeah. like fucking kill everyone that's not well, white. Well, it's it, it's because like it's because people like blow up racism into something more than just an opinion, which is all it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just a, a stupid fucking, ass opinion by a dumbass motherfucker that, that you like can hold with varying degrees of conviction. But it's not like you know. Imagine somebody that was like convinced that the Star Wars movies sucked <laughs> right. and that everyone was fucking wrong. People wouldn't be like, "Look, he walks his dog like everybody else. How is that possible?" It's just a fucking opinion. That's all it is. And then the the response to all like those Nazi articles is like, don't normalize, normalize this behavior, which is also bullshit. It's not like somebody that's like gonna read that and say, yeah, you know what? I also like red pepper flakes in my pasta. Maybe I should start using the N word. But I, I mean, don't know. Whole- it is it is kind of weird of just see fucking Nazis get this like light treatment mm-hmm. of like get puff pieces written about right. them it's like it is a little weird i do think there's something to the normalizing thing of it because no, it's, it's like somebody wanted to you know but people see that and they're like oh this is something. this is like more acceptable this is like you shouldn't be ha- you shouldn't like say you're a nazi out loud and well, it's be like fucking yeah cool it's like the, that's not something that like should be it's chill. part of the whole two sides to every story thing it's yeah, but like there this isn't. is their yeah. side you know fuck their side their yeah, side isn't, like, isn't yeah. shit like, who gives a fuck about not like I don't know. I, I, don't I just know. think it's fucking retarded that we're talking about what Nazis want when it's like you shouldn't give them the fucking time of day and they shouldn't have any political power whatsoever. Like that's sh- that's crazy to me that there's a group that there's that many people in America that are like, yeah, this is fucking we're going to meet up. I mean, I guess right. it's not, not even that, that many. many. You're right. But it seems like it's more because I, of all the mainstream I, I, I media barely attention. read it. But the guy they profiled was just someone that went to Charlottesville. It's just someone with a computer. Yeah, it's just some guy. It's not it's just not some somebody guy. with power in Ohio. Yeah. Some so why the guy. fuck are they writing about? these? That's people? the point. That's because here's why they're writing about it, because everyone's fucking like in this like rabid froth about the not the terrifying yeah. Nazis yeah, are yeah, coming yeah. back. It's not it's not like I mean, sure, the New York Times plays a role in that, but they're not the ones fucking doing it. There's people shaking in their boots about this Nazi uprising. Yeah, there were like 400 people in Charlottesville. Yeah, and it just doesn't fucking exist. So there were half that many people at Sidebar at your show <laughs> right, on right, Wednesday. Right, right, that's true. You know, that's yeah. pathetic. 400 people. That's true. The fucked up thing is that someone died. You know, because right, right. people were freaking out about it so much that it got like shit. Well, that's not why they died. Over and I guess it's like my point is, if you want to be mad at something and people. You know, uh, engaging in antisocial behavior that's really fucking harmful. Uh, why don't you look at the people that rape children that make all of the movies that you watch? <laughs> that's that's a fucking group. <laughs> the people that that literally are above the law because they can fuck children in a plane that they own. Oh fuck, that's true. Um, yep, they're next. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about some guy in Ohio who like fucking, you know. Makes pasta and lives with his mom and goes to and rallies. Pets every his once cat. In a while. No, he lives with his well, girlfriend. Well, I pet my cat, so maybe he'll be. Yeah, awesome. you're just yeah. like him. If anything, the stars ta- are just like. If us. anything, your takeaway should from that it shouldn't be that it's normalizing Nazis, but that it's like, you know, showing you that like again, it's just somebody with an opinion you don't like. Yeah. That I mean, it's like it doesn't fucking matter. You're not going to be able to eradicate people who don't agree with you about mm-hmm. shit, mm-hmm. even if it's an extreme opinion like. White people should separate and have their own fucking nation. Right. You know, I mean, when it gets to a political level, then that's different. But this is not like a guy that controls anything. You know, and yeah. racists have always been around. Like, I don't understand right, what right, this right. fucking why everybody. Well, it just it is weird. Terrorized they, by the fucking idea. It's not that idea. they terrorized, but anyway, we don't have. We're talking in circles, but it's just weird that they're getting mainstream, like media attention for being racist, basically. Yeah, that, I just don't think that it's like. Yeah, it's a matter of numbers. It's like, why is this? My, this is softening my dick. Whatever. We dude. had it nice and stiff before. And anyway, I Lindy shouldn't have written that article. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lindy's going to find a fat racist and then be like, well, maybe maybe there's a goodness to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
sick and tired yeah. of everywhere I go, yeah. men just catcalling me <laughs> and saying, have sex with me, Jabba. I love you, Jabba. <laughs> me and my friend hooked each other up to the fucking Blizzard mixing machine. At <laughs> we, we, we broke bread, numerous pieces of bread, cake, every type of bread you can imagine. And we really got down to brass tacks. And then we ate all the brass and we ate all the tacks. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I, I really can't wait until she fucking just has to get like to has to have medical intervention and then fucking turns her back on the fat community. You think she's gonna get she's gonna, she's gonna get her stomach stapled? Well, everything she does is like an extreme. Whatever her personal trajectory is at the time is the only right and true way to live your life. Right, right, right. So if she does have a medical emergency, you know, and she has to get lap band, she has to start losing weight. Losing weight feels good. Yeah. And if she continues in that direction, then she's going to... I could totally see her becoming a fitness person. And then it's like, yeah, you know what? I, what? Ernest is making a fucked up sound. That's the sound Ernest makes. He growls. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to throw up or some shit. No, he doesn't know that he's a cat. He thinks he's like a tortoise or something. <laughs> he's the gay turtle. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. I see what you're saying. Yo, some fucking... A cop in Baltimore who was going to testify against other cops got killed. Good. But he got shot with his own gun and his partner hid and called 911. Cops are fucking setting motherfuckers up, dude. Uh, Yeah, I mean, of course. It's just wild, dude. dude I mean, dude, like the, 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 the police department there gets caught like... Every other year, yeah. <laughs> engaging in some like giant fucking drug distribution yeah. ring. Yeah, they were selling. They were drugs selling to heroin Philly. to the Philly police. Yeah, were then like yeah. selling it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they were wholesaling. They were the plug for the Philly cops. That's yeah. unbelievable, dude. Yeah. Uh, body. I more. told you, I took that test because every Tuesday you can just go to like Baltimore Police Department headquarters and take the test. Oh basically. shit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. should go. We should take it. They don't they just no they just no kind of ch- I mean I was there and there was just some fucking like deranged homeless guy with a bag full of loose tools. <laughs> that he taking the test. And taking the test. <laughs> and uh you know I was like fuck it, why not? Let's see what happens. And I took the test and uh like immediately after I take the test like a fucking like captain comes out from the back and he's like yeah, something came up in your background check, so uh, a major needs to look over it, and there's no majors you know, at the office today. And then, like, two weeks later, I got a letter from the mayor that's like, you can never be a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it priors or something? I don't have, I don't, yeah, it's not priors. It's, like, something. Were you ever arrested? No. And released I mean, I, I guess I've been investigated for shit, but. Interesting. Yeah. You're on some list you don't even know about. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, yes, I've been, I've, I've been under federal right, investigation. Right, 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 right. That was right. after you took the Baltimore. Yeah, I don't, test. I don't know though. You Interesting. Know, you never yeah. know. You never know. You've been tracked this whole time. Um, but uh, do you guys remember when the Black Gorilla family was just fucking? She, he got, they got like, they were running a prison. They just like got guards pregnant. Oh yeah. In like, <laughs> imagine <laughs> fucking the like you've you've fucked the guards. It's like you're not even. Pulling out, you're in prison. You're like, what the you're fuck do I care? You're nutting in the guards, and he got her <laughs> pregnant. I think she had the kid. Yeah, that's so sick. Um, Salute to that guy, man. Well, anyways, that day that I took the test, uh, uh, they were going to hire like an additional 300 officers that year. So it was kind of like anybody can get the job, and I was like, it would be hilarious. Oh yeah. If I just, you know, I just did the job for like a month. Of course, because yeah. you're still you a, got a signing bonus. Uh, I think so, but you're still a civilian, so you can quit whenever you want. I right. mean, th- I mean, maybe they could go after you for like breach of contract or something. Uh-huh. But I don't, you know. I'm no, really... you can quit. You yeah. can quit the academy. Yeah. Um, but the academy is the fun part. That's where all the hijinks happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's right>. uh, <laughs> Boop. That's where Boop. the sound effects go. <laughs> well, <laughs> that that day, some fucking officer had been training like officers from other departments it was like a cross departmental like mm-hmm. training exercise mm-hmm. and they were just on some hospital property some like abandoned hospital property oh fuck i remember this and the trainer shot a trainee in the head and the guy like almost died yeah and uh then they find out that like training wasn't approved they didn't have the right to be there there was no explanation of what the training was <laughs> right, you know, right, was right, like right, right. This, 
He just yeah. she just fucking. I think they were supposed to be yeah, using so like okay. blanks, and they were just using no. You're real not guns. supposed to use blanks when they do training exercises. They have like rubber guns that are painted bright red, so mm. there's no way you could possibly confuse them <laughs> for real guns. He, he pulled out his real gun, <laughs> shot at me in the fucking head. Damn, Baltimore baby, body more Schmerdeland. Yeah, my home. Well, Bobby Schmerda apparently got set up and shouldn't be in jail. Is that what you heard? Yeah. Why do you, why do you say that? There was an article that was way too long for me yeah, to read. Yeah. He looks it, jacked. It said that he should not have. He, like, I saw a picture. It of was him. an overambitious DA trying to make an example of him because of his music. Yeah, is not hip hop is not. Isn't a everyone crime. in jail from that? Like everyone, well, the whole Schmerda team. Uh, on a, oh, for, of his friends. Yeah, I don't know. I I really. Did not read the full article. Curtis, get the fuck off my fucking um, bitch. Yeah, but I don't know. That shit was wild. But um, anyway, guys, uh, also it's important to note the ticket link is up now for the 22nd. The show on the oh, 22nd. yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking Christmas show, December 22nd at the Black Cat. 8 o'clock fucking 8 o'clock show or 8, eight o'clock doors, 8.30 mm-hmm. show. Uh, all three boys getting our fucking, bringing our holiday pricks out mm-hmm. for the world and to And I suck. know it's like very common for like fans of podcasts to bring gifts for people that <laughs> of the podcast they like. Is it? Um, if, if, you're, gonna, if you're a gay man and you want to marry Adam, you have to bring a dowry. Yep. You have to present, we have to approve. You have to, present, you have to present me with a golden <laughs> egg, <laughs> at which point I will allow you to fuck and sodomize Adam <laughs> any which way you please. please. I was just going to ask If for you're it. HIV positive, please come inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it works if you come? Isn't, I thought it was it just, just on the tearing, dick? tearing, tearing no. that ass. It's, it's in, in the jizz. It's in the jizz. Yeah, mm. jizz, jizz, breast milk, blood. Those are the oh, three. Oh fuck! My favorite. Yeah. My favorite three food groups. Yeah, <laughs> and also <laughs> pussy dress. In the pussy jizz. She's got the pussy jizz. Fuck dress. off, ma'am. I love the way the pussy dress tastes when it has AIDS. I'm beating off the pussy, ma'am. Get ma'am, down, ma'am. I learn how bitch. to jack off your fucking bitch. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't want to see your old pussy. Shut up. You fucking bitch, mom. Sh- shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. I'm jogging off. Get out. I'm le- I learned how to beat off from Sundar at school. <laughs> oh, they're friends? Oh, Sundar's his friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My friend, the rude nigga Sundar. <laughs> Gio, no say the N word, no, no. Gio. Oh. I'm sorry. Molestrios. Molestrios, yeah. I want to say the N word too. <laughs> now, Gio, you're a faggot. You can say it. <laughs> Only I can say it. <laughs> Molestrios, let your brother say the N word. <laughs> Shut that bitch, man. <laughs> 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 Fuck, dude! I just picture like an Albanian. Molestrios is Cartman. low key the most fun. Character I love Molestrios. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just saying, shut that bitch, ma'am. I will never not smile <laughs> when I say that phrase. Shut that bitch, ma'am. It's almost like you must never respect a woman. Yeah. It is very important <laughs> that you never respect a woman. <laughs> because a woman is not capable of saying yes to sex. <laughs> Stop watching those videos, Molestrios. <laughs> 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 I'm sure trying that. to learn, bitch, I mom. love Africa. <laughs> <laughs> These are the only good ones. <laughs> stop watching, stop watching African Gavin McInnes. <laughs> African McInnes. <laughs> Yo, is I feel isn't Vice gonna go down? It seemed like everyone yeah. in Vice was raping too. Oh, yeah, well, there was. That's the thing too. It's funny and it, during rape month now, all like these publications are fucking like doing taking shots at each other by. Right. All journalists are fucking losers. Right. Sure. And, and suck ups and yeah. like and fucking. Yeah. yeah, they're all Adams. And so, careerists. And yeah. No, I'm not. Suck yeah. up. They're all kind of like Adams. No, I, I suck don't ups respect like authority at all, actually. Yeah. I have no respect for authority. They're all narcissists, so they, you know, they all rape. Sure. They all just fucking rape each other. <laughs> yes. And so now they're going to, one by one, do exposes on like the rapists who rape of who? each individual publication until there's no more media, which would be perfect. That's when we shot. That's when we come in. We do our own newspaper. We come in. It's us. Reddit vote. V O V O A T. Have you seen that one? No. What's no, that? It's, it's like that? racist Reddit. <laughs> oh really? It's where I get most. Wait of a my second. Isn't Reddit racist Reddit? <laughs> no, actually, they rebranded. 
Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Don't they have like R slash the Donald and stuff? And yeah, but that one's just about Donald Trump. I guess you have to. And it, black now, now social steps. now social media is just going to keep swinging back and forth because none of these companies have any real principles. Right. That's what all the girl comics now are finding that out because they're all getting banned for writing men are scum. Right. Right. You know, which is like yeah bullshit. But like, I, like they have the wrong take, which is like we got to get Facebook to stick by their original principles. It's like no, you need to realize it's a fucking company that yeah. doesn't. I mean, but they give should be a shit about you. My girlfriend. It is crazy that they don't ban people that fucking threaten to kill people and drop uh, end bombs. And they shit. do. You can find examples of of. People that you know say men are scum that don't get banned from Facebook. Right, right, I mean, right. If, if you want to play the what aboutism game in terms of like how their social media policy is enacted, it's whatever. But the thing is, is like, don't try to make a case about whether Facebook is good or bad politically. Realize it that, is bad. Realize that it's a company that is only concerned with like protecting its profits. The only people. Uh, uh, pursuing these like you know co uh, community safety standards or essentially customer service agents that probably hate you hate their job you know hate their fucking life just realize that like you don't need facebook you should embrace freedom of expression across the board and not celebrate it when fucking people you don't like are silenced well yeah and it's also the way you get in trouble is by people that don't like you of course you. right my yeah. girlfriend just got banned from Twitter for uh, calling Blossom a Zionist cunt. <laughs> <laughs> she is, isn't she? She is. Yeah. 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 I mean, but Zionist is a slur now. Really? I guess. Yeah. Well, I think cunt is the cunt. That's yeah. That's yeah. not a bad word. Yeah, <laughs> you can say cunt. Haven't she, you been to England? You should be like I'm British. Yeah. So I, I actually think she's my friend. I, it's just like none of these people understood two years ago that like silencing people for expressing opinions that you don't like isn't a good idea right right yeah. right yes you know, no yes, one no one true. and then it was considered like fucking rape apology or concern trolling to say like hey we should embrace the idea that anybody should be able to say whatever you want and if you don't like it you can block them or ignore it right 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 you know and it's like well it's for damaging me it's for all right well now it's being used against you so i guess there you go this is the fucking world you wanted yeah, but I mean, I, I guess to their point, it's like it's not even because it's not even an equal. You don't. You're not. I guess they want the people that fucking say the. I mean, you're, I don't agree you're, that you're anyone still making the wrong argument. I know. I'm not. I'm not. You know. I don't not, think you should now, be silenced. Oh, now it's not. Now it's not being used. It's being used against us. Whatever. But now we want it to. You know, also be used against people we disagree right, with. Right. 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 Uh, it's like no. Just no matter what, like you should say, be able don't to say call for people to be silenced ever. Just don't do it. If their opinions are bad, you should either have a counter argument that's better than or theirs, just ignore them, or just fucking ignore them like an adult, like you were told to yeah. do as a child when somebody said something you didn't like. In the case of violent threats and shit, same thing. But th none of these are violent threats. But I'm just saying, are there exceptions? In, and you like, know what? You Violent threats are illegal. Right. So if the problem is, is that they threaten you across state lines, call the fucking police. If you believe it's a credible threat, call the police. Yo, what don't about say, the fucking... Don't, don't, don't think the solution is like is Facebook, Facebook should be tattling. handling this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about those fucking... Do you see the NY, the, the cops that tried to like uh, intimidate a rape witness? No, the, the, the cop raped is like it's. You're talking about that raping. Times that Times article. Yeah, what happened? That shit's wild. Wait, the New York New York City police officers that raped those girls in a van. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I remember that story. That's wild, dude. Yeah, that's my take. It's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> cops Damn, are bad. Man. That shit is. <laughs> that shit is wild. That's wild. <laughs> that's wild. That's what the article said. <clears throat> yeah, it just was a clip of being like, what? It's called yeah. wilding out. <laughs> These, those cops were really wilding it's, it's out. It's called the rape out game. <laughs> <laughs> it's called wilding out. <laughs> Gangs of black teens going street to street, raping out <laughs> young white men. Uh, Rappers talk yeah. about it in I their mean, songs. I mean, it's like a game, basically. What you do is, is you get, and it's like the garbled, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a game, basically. <laughs> what you do is you find the white guy and then you fuck him until he's gay. <laughs> Preferably outside of the Barnes and Noble because those guys are close, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys, do you guys ever have a thing of like, 
uh, we were scared. There was like a uh, an urban legend of the a gang called the Pink Stars that were gay gangsters that would rape you. Do you guys ever have? There I never saw any evidence of it. I've never seen a Pink well, Star in, in my life. There was Check It, dude. You remember those kids that they used to hang out at Gallery Place Metro? No. There was like a gang Adam, of Adam was. Uh, when he first moved to D.C., he was really into being uh, forcibly sodomized by gangs. <laughs> yep. So he knows where all of those. <laughs> I wasn't he would, into it. He would, he would, but it did happen. He would you go, can't say he would you're go, into it. He would go, he would go, hey, boys, <laughs> seize up, bees down. <laughs> and then wait, wait until they hold them down. <laughs> wait until they, they fuck him. To near death. Uh, <laughs> who is Check It or whatever the fuck? They're like kids, that like gay, like street kids that were like tired of getting bullied so like if someone was like you fucking faggots or whatever they just tweet out like check it and they have like 400 kids there really ready to fight yeah there was i one time i saw a fight on the like on the other side of the metro at chinatown on the green line and it was like literally 200 kids just like fucking tranny like tr- trans women fucking Whoa. like people just fucking go so if you know anyone out. in the gang check it let them know that adam called them trannies <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> on check it yeah i'm tweeting it right but now actually, i'm a part of what check happened it. was someone made a documentary about it and and louis i don't know if i'm allowed to say his name beat off in front of them saw it and he was like this louis, is check it k k check it yeah That's louis his last check name it for. K. check kids uh louis saw it he was like i think this is really important that and people should see it and he distributed it through his website because he's like no one's gonna see this fu- if like, if you're not like at a queer film festival you, like no one would have ever seen it yeah but i guess he liked it a lot so he sold it on his website hopefully he gave them the money right no he didn't you think he took the money he uh, uh i would he I fucked all those them, kids i wouldn't give them a dime <laughs> that's what <laughs> they know get know what yeah you want to you want to be in a gang? You're not getting paid. That's right, brother. That's how I keep kids out of gangs. By, yep. by keeping them poor. Stealing their money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going 12 if o'clock. they had money before, yoink, I'd take that shit too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, So, uh, what is your most cherished Thanksgiving memory of all time? Adam's decided to just use his phone instead of Adam. Like, you were just on your computer. I'm sorry. I'm, look, I'm, I'm not on my computer. I'm I was looking up looking something that we discussed earlier, but never mind. What, what? did we discuss earlier? Uh, you can't even name it. You don't what? even know what we've been talking about. <laughs> Nothing. You don't even know. Don't continue. My most cherished Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving memory. I don't know. Is Thanksgiving's not a big deal. I'll for tell you, you guys. mine. And no, then here comes, no, here, comes for us here comes another five and a half minute long menu description. <laughs> it wasn't. It's not five and a half minutes, but it is menu. Strawberry based. custard. No, it's nine, a crab dip from nine, Price Club. <laughs> nine decks. It's before they were Kirk, Costco. Kirkland brand aioli. Yes, Lavin. actually, it is. Of, I don't know if it's Kirkland brand. Whatever <laughs> Price Club. Whatever Price Club was. The old Costco. Yeah, that was Costco. Yeah. <laughs> they had a fucking crab dip. That was unbelievable. I remember that. And my mom got pita chips, and they were extra salty that year. Mm. Bro, I must have had two okay. tubs of that shit. Wow. And no joke, that's my most cherished Thanksgiving memory. Just really? by myself, just going to town on that fucking uh, tub of and, crap And dip. before you, you cut me off with loud, fat, you know, yeah. uh, 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 interjections, mm-hmm. Thanksgiving food sucks. Oh, yeah, I agree with you. It's bad. Oh, good. There's just a lot of it. So what you what you get excited about is mass. Turkey is not good. No, first of all, I don't fuck with turkey. Turkey sucks. Turkey sucks. Stuffing, even the best stuffing in the world is fucking garbage. Have you seen a turkey in real life? It is so scary. I don't fuck with turkey. I'm turkeys. terrified of it. Adam's them. afraid of all all kinds of small birds. All kind of, they're not yeah. First of all, they're not small. They're There's, big as hell. They're yeah. big as shit. They they're, look like fucking dinosaurs. First of all, I'm bigger than a fucking turkey. Oh, congratulations. There's some big ones though yeah. out there, man. Adam, congratulations. Ad, Adam's fucking afraid of any kind of small animal. Dude, they got talons, bro. Because he's so they removed they from talon, nature. They could talon the shit out of you. Not Wild anything. turkeys? I would fuck up. Almost. They have little nuts hanging off their chin though. You That's grab their the little chins. That's the scariest part, the red chin nuts. You grab their nuts and you suck them. You know that video I mean, um, that video that like off. gay news anchor holding the chicken and the chicken starts like flapping its wings and he's like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he's like losing his mind. <laughs> um, oh, this I agree in general th- that Thanksgiving food is overrated. This though. is just something funny that happened yesterday. The guy sitting next to me on the plane watched Love Actually two times in a row. That's cool. He like it, he was a it's fucking a good movie, man. buff ass dude. He sat down. He watched Love Actually. He like scanned through all the other movies. 
and then he just decided to run it back. Go like, I'm gonna run time. it back. I'm gonna run back this movie that's supposed to be romantic, but it's fucked up and weird. Snape it, like cheats on his wife. What, yeah, why do people not like it? I thought it was. I pleasant, don't remember. Right? I remember it was. It's like Christina's favorite movie, and I remember watching Being it with her and being like, "This shit sucks." Cockerel, one of five hundred birds. That are being judged today at the show. <laughs> uh, it's Adam's dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a manlier scream than you gave him credit for. Yeah, though. he's just uh, Australian. I, 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 he's thought not he was, gay. I thought he was British, which makes him, you know, gay. Gay right, yeah. by yeah. default. Mm-hmm. You can't be on the news in Britain and not be, well, and be straight. They call it gay Britain. I think is what gay, gay, gay Perry, gay, gay Britain. Britain. Yeah. yeah, everything's called gay. Okay. Gay Adam. Yeah, that's yeah, you. Damn, that was my original name. Yeah, the Union Jack. What do you think that is? That means two guys jacking off. Union together. That's Jack. right. Yeah, it's that's Jack the union. and Unis- Unison. Mm-hmm. You grab, union you grab his cock. Jacking. He grabs your cock. And and who do you say we meet up at the uh, at the at the Lorry and have a Union Jack <laughs> together? Yeah. Together. Together. I think that's, that's Australian that's, again. Yeah, that's more it's Australian. all the same. It's all the same. That's Australian. It's too. all the same. Why don't, why don't you help pop on over and grab me cook? Grab me. Give me a top. Polish off me bell end. I was telling somebody the other day. I used to work at a cell phone kiosk, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and these two we British know. guys came over together. And uh, I, you know, they're British, so I'm already suspect. suspicious. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I don't know if they were like fucking or whatever, but they come up and they, they say, uh, uh, can we uh, come here to t- uh, top up? And I was like, what, like fuck each other in the <laughs> store? Yeah, to get head. Yeah. No, I mean it means to put more top. minutes on your phone. Oh, which top is yeah, not yeah. an expression we use. Here. Top off. Yeah. So I, I would top no, if we top up. And you're like, oh, I guess, and you suck their cocks. <laughs> no, I didn't do shit. I said, I'm going on break. This ain't my job. This is not, not my, my job. And then I went into Charlotte Ruse and I started sticking my tongue out at women. <laughs> you know? Really? Yeah. There was I, I I used to work next to a Charlotte Ruse and this moron worked at the store and then me and this other guy who I was friends with us that worked at the store convinced the moron that the fat girl who worked at Charlotte's Ruse was like the hottest woman in the world. And he's like, Really? And we're like, Yeah. And then he started dating her. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He trolled him into a relationship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Was she hot? Uh, no. Was she cute? No. Just no, no. Yeah, we, we were just hmm. like, you know, literally that joke. literally like that thing Eric, Eric tried yeah, yeah. to do, we successfully Dude, did. Dude, Adam shared. We got to convince Ben's cousin. What, you got to help me convince Adam that Ben's cousin's hot. She's like, <laughs> clearly not. That became attractive. Berg at the end. <laughs> huh? That became Aaron Berg at the end. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Have, they kind of have a similar affect. Oh my God, Jesus! <laughs> what do we got here? <laughs> Couple Jews. Is this a fat woman? <laughs> a black guy? I bet, uh, what do you, I bet he has sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. You can be convinced that someone you don't actually find hot is hot. Yeah. The power of the human mind. Oh yeah, it's, it's very, it's very easy. Hmm. Really? Well, uh, that's been our hour. It's mm. been the bonus episode hour. We successfully went the whole time without talking about Hollywood pedophiles. We did a little uh, bit. Yeah, it was mentioned. But okay, so uh, plug. Uh, oh, yeah, plug it up, plug it up, plug it up. Funny Moms at Come On Everybody. Come On Everybody. Stop your in Mike Cleveland. Vecchione is going to be on it. We don't know who else. We haven't booked it. I am in Cleveland this weekend. I'll be headlining the uh, Hilarities in Cleveland Sunday the 3rd. And then I'm at the House of Blues in Boston on the 16th. And, uh, like we said earlier, the 22nd, the big motherfucking holiday show with all the boys, live podcast yep. at the Black Cat DC. Come get sucked off. I'm also, uh, I'm doing spots again, and I'm at like the standing room almost every weekend, and then I hang out at the stand pretty often. They yeah, shouts out to the stand, a great fucking yeah. club. They put it's the good. Boys up. Come mm. out. You might get, I might, I might be on stage. Odds are that I, I will be if I'm hanging there, so uh, come out whenever. And then let Patrick know. If you see Patrick, he's the lumbering uh, prison cook yes. that books the room. Tell him you came out because of Come Town. That's right. And then they'll give me more spots. And me also. Yeah, but specifically me because I'm the one that figured out this angle. No, I mean, it's. I think no, that's the general don't, angle. Don't try to like cut into my slices. Can't scan. you ask can, for me too? Well, Adam, uh, you're not he, past at the stand, and I've told Patrick repeatedly that you're not really a stand-up. What guy. do you mean <laughs> past? <laughs> yeah, have you tried to get yes, into the stand? You don't even know what how past do I get means. in? You don't know what past means. That's how much of a non-comic you are. You <laughs> no, know? dude, I go to Bushwick. You don't know the terms. You know, <laughs> you're not, you don't have a seat at the table where no gay men or no trans women are allowed. That's right. 
Okay, well, beautiful. I'm just saying, yeah. like, there are no trans women at. Also, yeah, go listen to that that cave, that cave com or not cave comedy, uh, so a comedy seller podcast with uh uh-huh, with Brandon with guy on there. Wham! What a fucking embarrassment. <laughs> what a just he just had no, no not a single fucking point to make. <laughs> Were they mean to him? No, I mean they uh, just, not as mean as they could have been. They yeah. just weren't he. They weren't friends with him. Well, yeah, he trashed them in a fucking in a yeah. publication. I mean, he like slandered the fucking club, basically. Yeah, with right. no completely it was, bullshit. It was a metaphor. How about I say this? There's a problem with with uh, there's a guy in Los Angeles who's going around raping people. <laughs> His name's Guy Branham, and and then when he says you can't call me a rapist, I say, well, you are a metaphor. Mm-hmm. You know, you represent. Yep. Rape. Every town has a Guy Branham. Yep. A guy who rapes. <laughs> That's right. You know, I'm not saying you do, but you represent. Right. It's like that. First I'm just going to use your exact name. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, I think that is pretty. pretty anyway. Up. Um. Yeah, everyone. So, uh, shout out, come see us, and uh, we'll 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 talk to you next. Uh, you know, motherfucking you Wednesday. Can catch me at um, clubs all over New York City. <laughs> Can't you catch want. Adam. You Thank can. you for coming to Sidebar, by the way. What a fucking show. Everyone, you're you're. Thank you for everyone come out. Oh, and thanks for buying Stabby's Golden Angels T-shirts on sale online soon. You guys want to get some gingerbread cookies after this? I, I gotta got reel it in, dog. bro. You gotta reel but it yeah, in. I'm done. But I'll call, I'll hang a little bit. Well, yeah, a little latte, some gingerbread. I'll cookies. get a, I'll get a latte. Yeah. I'd get some pumpkin spice. I watched. Right, let's do it. I, I did. Uh, I did. I did all those Frankenheimer movies on Filmstruck. Burt oh, Lancaster yeah? sucks. Who? I'd seen I'd seen Birdman of Alcatraz years ago and I liked that movie, but I yeah, watched yeah. I watched all those other Lancaster Frankenheimer movies. Does uh-huh. he does he have wings, the Birdman of Alcatraz? Yeah, well he plays Birdman. Nice. So he's yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. he's like sodomizing little Wayne. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that? Don't boy? you understand, <laughs> little Wayne? I just wanna fuck you. Have you I got... just wanna put your dick inside of my mouth and fuck you. Have you watched uh, any of the Cassavetti movies? On uh, Stop, uh, you should watch it, dude. That's a Greek American hero. That's right. I have. I'm not, I don't care. You don't like it? I, yeah, I didn't care for it. Which Why? one? It's like it's like proto mumblecore bullshit. I it's don't not care. proto, not at all. Yeah, it is. That's Who's, exactly. Are you what serious? What movie? Wait, because people talk at the same time. What movie? Well, they. Well, that's yes. how people. That's how life is. No, yeah, exactly. But that's not how life fucking, fucking fictional sucks. War, yeah. You, you uh, that's what I want to watch is two hours of people talking over each other and using the wrong words, just like real. So life. you don't like Robert Altman? <laughs> I no, I mean there's plenty. You of don't Altman like Robert Altman. I, the, uh, Altman doesn't do it to the yes, same he does. That, that's his whole. Thing. No, there's yes, varying degrees of realism in dialogue, and it's what not, movie did Cassavetes make? Woman Under the Influence, Opening Night. There's Adam, see, that's why Adam likes it because it's about women being drugged and raped. <laughs> his favorite. <laughs> that movie is is probably his best movie. Yo, every movie, and you she know, wasn't raped in it. She's just losing her mind. Remember when uh, there was like yeah, a bunch of movies Adam about say, again on record saying he doesn't believe women when they say they've been. It's raped. crazy, dude. It's fucked she up. She never said she was. Raped. Remember, remember, remember how lots of movies had like love potions. Them shit. Those that's just that's roofies. Just roofies. Spanish, Spanish yeah, that's magic roofies, dude. I was laughing about uh you know this why I need feminism pictures I mm-hmm. brought this up before uh-huh. but like a, a so it's like a big fat Chinese girl with like a swollen face holding one of those why I need feminism signs and then it says but nobody fuck my pussy <laughs> and she's like crying <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be a pretty good character that's a good one man yeah, yeah. thanks yeah. hey it's not as good as uh it's Bane like, queefing <laughs> <laughs> yeah I thought that was the highlight of the app. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> the backboard, <laughs> backboard shattered on that one. <laughs> Ooh. All right, everyone. Goodbye. Right. From right. my pussy. <laughs>